Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about four things that are more important than photo quality in the real estate photography business. Now, this video is unscripted. I just wrote down some thoughts here that I wanted to touch on these and I just wanna make this more of a like one-on-one -on -one conversation. You know, what are some of my thoughts on the real estate photography business and uh, you know, the things that are more important to image quality because I feel like especially on youtube there's such a high focus on image quality we gotta produce the best quality let's do flambian all over the time let's spend five hours editing a bunch you know properties but i think there's several things that you need to think about before you even decide what style of photography you want to do at a particular property um you know what your goals and and you know your particular business ambitions and what you want to do but anyways number one i would say this is number one two and three number one customer experience this is more important than i would say any other factor when it comes to your real estate photography business and growing it right you could create the most amazing photos but if you're delivering late if you're not pleasant to be around if the real estate agent is having trouble getting a hold of you you know there's a lot of things that can contribute to a negative customer experience or is it easy for them to get a hold of you are you meeting their expectations you know there's so much to unpack on that one topic alone but i would just say number one two and three customer experience is uh, by far the most important factor if you're trying to grow a real estate photography business I'll mention one thing, right? As your customers are happy with the experience that they're getting with you, they feel confident in referring you to their real estate agent friends. Because if you take a look at real estate agent forums, which I'm a part of because I am a real estate agent, you see sometimes people ask for recommendations for real estate photographers and they're not gonna chime in and recommend you to their friends if they're not getting a great customer experience from you. All right, another important factor that I think is more important than photo quality is your pricing, right? So at the end of the day, you're in business, you're shooting photos, maybe this isn't everybody's goals, but you're trying to make money, right? You're trying to provide for your family. And the biggest cost when it comes to real estate photography is your time. And that directly impacts, you know, how much you can charge for your pricing. Now you need to look at your particular market what products are out there what what's the quality like how much are people charging for this you know do you want to charge less at the same quality or you know you know last thing you want to do be as more expensive less quality maybe you're a premium guy maybe you're a super high quality product and a really high price you're just going to have a a hard time getting a bunch of jobs throughout the week because high-end listings isn't necessarily the bulk of what listings are on the market today i think at least here in our market three or four hundred thousand is the average price you got a lot of run-of-the-mill regular houses there are some high-end listings that hit the market but they are not the bulk of this i would probably say 80 percent of the business or probably even higher than that are just your average um homes that are going on for sale so setting correct pricing i think pricing because that's going to turn away you know so if you're high high price you know that's going to turn away a lot of those agents in the example that i just gave of high quality high price you know maybe they have a two hundred thousand dollar listing they're not going to make that much they can't justify paying 500 bucks for that one so anyways that's going to eliminate you from being able to service them as a real estate photographer if that makes sense all right so number one customer experience number two pricing number three I put turnaround times, um, but what that really means is meeting your customers' expectations. I think something that, you know, if you get busy as a real estate photographer and you have a whole lot of shoots during the day, or maybe you get sick or something and you're the only guy that's shooting and editing, you might find it hard to meet your customer expectations all the time. Now you can have customer expectations of, oh, I'll get your photos back in two days. Uh, I think the industry standard is somewhere around 24 hours. We always strive to deliver same day to our customers by speeding up 
how fast our photos are getting to our editors and hitting their desks. But you know, you could be delivering the most amazing prop photos. Your customers want want the photos faster, right? Maybe within 24 hours to get on the market. But say you're however you edit, maybe you got busy and you're pushed to two days. You could be delivering the most amazing photos, but your customer really wanted to be on the market faster. And maybe they missed out on some potential buyers um, because it wasn't on the market fast enough. So you kind of got to make sure you're meeting your customer's expectations. And actually this kind of leads me into the number four thing that I wrote down here, which is know your customer's goals. Now, what did I write down? Uh, some, some agents want to list properties as soon as possible to get on the market. Maybe they think market's going to shift or maybe we're coming into a holiday season and there's, you know, people that are buying or less. So speed to market is very important for some, um, uh, you know, photography, I wrote down photography that can go in a museum, you know, the most, you know, mostly what I would say the majority. Now this isn't all of them. The majority of real estate agents, what their goal is, which I wrote down, most agents want to sell their listing and make money, get their commission check, right? And I also wrote it down for most buyers. I said, most buyers want to show up to a property and not think this place looks nothing like the pictures, right? So there are some turnoffs. You know, you can, you can do all the right things and make a property like phenomenal online but if it's a you know a potential buyer shows up it's not doing any justice to the listing agent um you know if people are just showing up and be like oh my gosh the photos were way better it doesn't look like it you know there's a there's an element of realism and what the property actually looks like when you're standing in there um versus you know doing a bunch of artificial things to the photos to make them look the most uh you know amazing but anyways your customers goals may, may be different than that i would say most agents want to list fast and they want to sell their listing um and home sellers want their listing to sell as fast as possible so speed to market is a very important factor which is one of our competitive advantages and one thing that we really focus on because we feel you can disagree or you can you know you don't have to have that competitive advantages that we do but we feel that you know speed is is a really important factor to um, real estate agents so anyways that's four things that i in my opinion are more important than than your photo quality now i'm not saying go out and take the most trash photos like with your iphone that are all crooked no i'm saying that Photo quality is important, but you need to take into consideration these factors, um, you know, when you're building your business and, and you know, what you want to be known for as a real estate photographer and uh, how you're going to position yourself in your market. You know, a lot of people, you know, there could be that phenomenal, talented real estate photographer, but maybe they can't communicate well with homeowners and the experience is just awkward and weird. Um, you know, that's when I say, the customer experience is number one. Um, now, if you can manage to knock down all these, you're you're up to to be able to um, to achieve some phenomenal results in your market. But it does take a lot of time, effort, and energy to kind of research your market. How are you going to position yourself? And uh, anyways, I go into a lot that in detail in the courses that I've created. You can check those out at realestatemediacourses.com. You can also check out our free training. Um, where I go over, a, you know, a lot of things that you need to know to uh, find success in the real estate uh, photography business. The link is in the description. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Reach out if you have any questions. We'll see you guys on the next one.